conversation that comes up a lot within designer bags is this investment bag phrase. And people say this in different ways, right? So for example, I see my bags as an investment in my wardrobe. What's gonna get use? Things like that, okay? Whereas some people buy with the intention of knowing that their bags um, are going to go up in value or keep their value should they want to sell. Some people, you know, have a, a much less hoarderish mentality than I, which is one in, one out, stuff like that, right? So everybody has their different reasons as to what they're looking for when buying designer bags and why. And today we're going to go into the nitty gritty of investment bags. Now, I did a similar video last year and I found this article on Vogue that was going through um, according to somebody from the real real designer bags that had the biggest resale value at the end of last year they did a very similar thing um, in the spirit of reissuing they reissued this article so I'm going to be going through this talking through the major changes that we saw compared to uh, last year's version of this and then also cover some other bags that according to rebags Claire report are really good investment bags as well. So let's get into it guys if you're new here my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays so if you like luxury fashion then you're gonna love it here. So head down the subscribe channel the bell become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> <laughs> Never. So this, by the way, is in conjunction with Kelly McSweeney of The Real Real and she is their senior merchandising manager. So the first bag here, bit of a spanner in the works, the Loewe Paseo bag. Now, Loewe did not feature in last year's version of this article, but according to this, it's selling incredibly well, resale value is rising. Average selling prices are up 16% to last year. Keep in mind, when we're talking about investment bags and all of these resale platforms, the real, real, Vestia Collective, Rebag, Fashion File, all of that, each of them have commission, okay? So you have to factor that into if this is something that is very important when you're making your decisions, factor that in as well, that the numbers that we're talking about today, you've got to add their commission on top of that, okay? They've not kind of said the percentage that they're selling for, um, but the average selling price is on the rise. Unsurprising, Loewe's been having a, a, a moment, and deservedly so. But I find it interesting that they've included the Paseo bags. This bag retail is $2,900. Um, this is what I am tracking because 1,400, that one's 50% off. Um, 2000 ish. Loewe is not necessarily a, a brand that comes up, up a lot when we talk about investment bags. They just generally don't tend to hold their value. So when it comes to a bag like this, you're not going to see 100% retention. You're not going to see 90%. I will say I'm surprised that they didn't include the puzzle bag. The puzzle bag as we know is being discontinued. So the mini puzzle bag starts at $2,400. $2,200, I, you see, I think that's a better investment bag because that's retaining the majority of its value compared to something like the Paseo. That's also a bit more of a trend bag, it's a new bag. So that one was an odd one to sort of put forward. I would say if we're going to do Loewe, it's that one. But what's interesting as well from Rebag's Claire report, they have said that the Loewe basket bag actually retains a lot of its value. And that bag is definitely on the more approachable price point. Um, but wow, yeah, this is this is doing very well. Saint Laurent's La Saint Cassette Hobo. This was also on the list last year. And it's up 15% in value year over year, right? And this bag starts at 2,400. Again, Saint Laurent isn't really a name that we mention with this. I mean, look, you can get a good deal on this, right? In the pink 1,300. Yeah, I've also seen a couple of these go into sale. So again, I wouldn't necessarily say it's the best investment bag in that sense. Okay, this one was interesting. Gucci horse bit chain shoulder bag, right? Search demand for this has gone up 64% unsurprising because this was re-released as part of their new collections so people are now looking back at vintage versions or whatever the new bag starts at 2800 you can get a vintage version for less than a thousand dollars again in terms of like investment bag this is going to depend on the style and again it's so new that it's it's hard to kind of judge right i mean there's hardly any new ones kicking around so again not entirely sure what they've sort of um based that one on the celine triumph 
Celine is the leader in quiet luxury. Da, 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 da. Demand for Celine bags is picking up with search up 25%. 4,150. Go, okay, 3,200. 3, I mean, that one's 2,800. Uh, size dependent and all of that, okay? Fine, we'll give them that one. Prada re-edition, uh, 2,000, right? Da, 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 da. It's had a moment, as we know. Now these have had price increases. So currently, what? 1,250, oh my gosh. Okay, how much are they actually selling for? Here we go. Right, $700, 700, da, 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 800. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say that this is particularly, you know, come in that close. Now, the next one is a usual suspect that we see on these lists, right? You've got the Louis Vuitton Neverfall. What have they said? Making a comeback of its own, Standard investment piece has an air of killer executive realness. It means business. It's going for like 2,100 for the larger size. I mean, th th this is what I sort of thought with this is that yes, so there's a level of value retention there depending on when you bought it and when you want to sell because price increases in between. But the thing with Louis Vuitton, speedies are never fulls, especially in those classic canvas there's a lot of them floating around so like you can get a pretty decent deal on it here because even if you have a good investment piece it's really going to depend on how much of it is on the market otherwise you're gonna have to like drive the price down to be the one that sells however you do also have that thing that rings true on the limited edition pieces right I mean this one that that's been that's been quick on the draw 4194 this just came out Okay, the Nano Speedy in the Remix collection. Okay, place in card. So it's also available. Well, because somebody on here is trying to sell it for four grand. Is it going to sell for four grand? Well, we'll never know, will we? But, you know, those limited edition items that have a time limit on them, and then also it depends on the hype. You don't really kind of know which collaborations, capsule collections are really gonna pop off. So you've got to be quite good at judging it. So something like this, this is the Nano Speedy that was in the, what is it like Valentine's or Mother's Day collection last year, 3,700, right? And there's four offers in progress. So she's gonna go pretty quickly. This was limited edition, it sold out, couldn't get your hands on it. I want to say it was around the $2,000 mark, 3,700, well above retail, right? So something like this, great move in terms of an investment bag. However, if we take a collaboration that was like the Fendi Skims collaboration, it's in the outlets. Okay, I've seen it in the outlets here, I've seen it in the outlets in London. So we're, they're not all winners. Again, there's a bit of judgment there. There's a bit of, you can't quite get it right every time. So this was on there last time, the Gucci Wanda mini. We're seeing strong, but strong demand for mini bags, as we know. Right, so now you're giving me 2022 figures. Bit of a repurpose there. The Loire Anna bag, smaller brand here. And this is a more affordable bag, right? $325, $265, $145, 225 we don't know when that was, 200 248 Not particularly great. The other one that they mentioned is the Coperni swipe bag. And again, I don't think that this is a good recommendation because although it depends on the colour and the uh, fabric used, I do see, tend to see a lot of these go into sale. So usually a good rule of thumb if you're looking for an investment bag is don't buy the brands that the bags tend to go in the sale. Another good example of this is something like Valentino. Um, great bags, but if you can, try not to buy them full price because most of them end up going into the sale. I think the, according to the Rebag Claire report, the highest retaining value Valentino bag is the Roman stud and that only retains about 60%. Right, the Bottega Veneta sardine bag. A big bag of last year, is it still riding that wave? Because all of these things change, right? With trends and what's in. 4,200 for the small. So if we're looking here, you see, there's a lot. There's a lot on here, which makes me think, you know, demand, are you kidding me? <gasps> I don't even know what size that is, but the estimated reader was 4,200 and this person got it for 1,005. First of all, excellent deal, good for them. I mean, the mini sizes are going for well under retail. And I think, yeah, there's a lot of them swimming around, which makes me think that actually right now it's not a good one because, you know, people are really having to drive the price down to get a good, t right, so this one's on hold, 2,600. Again, if the retail is 4,200, well, that one was not really being retained, you know? Up next on the chopping board, Prada re-edition 1995 tote. 
we've been seeing strong demand for back to business styles and once again they've repurposed this from last year because they're using old figures yeah i mean not not particularly great let's talk about the bro because in terms of investment back, these are these are really getting up there last year it was the the row 90s bag right so this is yeah it's like just over a thousand dollars right sold look they're retaining their value right 1025 1045 remember that there's the commission to be had they're retaining their value when it comes to the 90s bag now we've got the margot and this is the one that i want to see because everybody's been talking about this bag everybody's been buying this bag recently there was an article that was like is this the new birkin all of that based on this a lot of the styles are selling out therefore if we're now trying to get our hands on a specific color blah blah, blah our only choice is the resale market so let's see a 15 in suede sold out 4550 right so we've got somebody selling it here for six thousand i love this one i love the teal color i don't like the size but i love the teal color four thousand one hundred so that one's going slightly below retail it's going to depend on the size i think that everybody's going to like the smaller sizes why does this one look sort of sad well it's never been worn apparently four offers in progress three thousand four hundred right a suede in which size in the ten 4,100 and it's currently 3,950. Look, it's retaining a lot of its value for a brand that's not like a big hitter brand that we know has price increases and like, you know, that's why I'm much on the resale market, blah, blah, blah. So they're one to watch and definitely I think specifically the Margot within that. They mentioned this last year, the Foray Lepage tote um, and that does quite well. Uh, Telfar shopping bag. This one is one that it used to be much more of an investment bag than it currently is. It used to be like double the price to get one of these because they had specifically only like drops that you could get specific colorways in, right? Now, more recently, they've kind of done a bit of a pre-order system. I think that that's currently closed. Again, they do the drop system, so that helps with making it an investment bag because you can't just like willy-nilly get the colour and the size that you want. Fendi Baguette. Okay, this one, again, I think it really depends on the style that you're after, the specific colourway. Fendi doesn't like restrict stock or have something like that, but you might get the investment value when it comes to specific bags specific colorways and all of that all of these things are so based on trends and all of that and just like that happened last year so demand for the sequined baguettes went up 34 percent because of that but now i mean you've got one here that's over retail 5900 but this one's 4200 and she's still sitting and she's never been worn so it's a tricky one right it's hard to stay on top of because one minute it's a really really great one to have and the next it's it's hard to shift then this brings us to the final bag according to this article which is the hermes kelly 28 and as we know hermes quota bags are the pinnacle of investment bags based on price increases based on how they restrict the ability to buy this bag in general in stores birkins kelly's constants but again trends come into play what sizes sell for the most what kind of styles are people more interested in last year it was the mini kelly right my little poppy here which is able i i think i paid around nine thousand a thousand dollars for this bag it there was listings of this for like twenty eight thirty thousand dollars well well above retail now according to rebag the constance is actually the most popular of those three when it comes to the amount that you can get above retail for this bag now you may notice that they haven't mentioned a single peep about a chanel bag um odd strange if we're talking about investment bags chanel is a name that has to come up in conversation the price increases recently have been crazy for the classic flaps but there are a lot of them around. You can get a very good deal on like a Chanel classic flap at the moment. I mean, look, there's there's one here, estimated retail 8,800 for, for 3,500. Again, it's going to depend on the color you want. Here's a classic black double flap medium silver hardware going for 5,000. Like you can get, and I just think because of the volume of them on resale now, the price is really driven down. So when it comes to Chanel, there are those odds and ends that you can do really, really well off of that tend to be those seasonal pieces. However, there then will be classic pieces that outperform the rest. If we look at the Chanel 22, 
a more recent bag that they've put out, these are going for above retail, okay? Much to my dismay, because it's not really a style I love, okay? But, um, here we are. So, so, for the mini version, let's just do the mini version. It's 5,300, right? So you've got that one on, on hold for 6,000. That one sold for 5,400, right? The mini here sold for 7,500, okay? So that's above retail, but that one had the pearl chain. You know, the specifics that go along with it. Mini here, 5,500, around retail price for it. 6,500, because it was blue maybe, or I kind of see why I would pay more for that blue than I would that brown, but that's just personal preference. The Chanel Kelly bag, right, this is a $4,400 bag. In the pink, $5,800. That's gone over. Again, $5,800, $5,800, they're really, so they're selling around that mark. Who knows how long that's gonna go on for, right? Chanel is going to release more colors and more fabrics and stuff like that. At the moment, it's a hot one, but all of these things, your timing of selling the piece has to be on it. There is such a level of unpredictability with this that you have to either play the game very well or just don't sort of bank on it and hope for the best and hope that the time that you're ready to sell, there's not that many of that item and you know, people are still interested and it's a size that people like or whatever, right? I hope that you found this interesting. Let me know what you think. I'm going to leave a link to another video over here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are. And in the words of my father. If you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.